Three, four. Which one's four? Four. Yep, good job. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Monday. It is our first Monday back from school break, so we are gonna have to try to knock things out today. But before we do all of that, I'm gonna make some stuff. So I got some sandwich bread rising, two loaves. I haven't made it in a while and the kids have been asking for it. So I wanted to make sure I got it done. So this is rising pretty soon. I need to take it out, shape it into loaves and let it rise again in some um, bread pans. But first we're gonna go ahead and make our like second breakfast thing. So we're gonna make some strawberry bread, but I have no strawberries. So we're gonna use frozen blueberries. So we're gonna make blueberry bread. So I will share the recipe um, I need to have two bowls. I need to make sure I have everything out. I think I got everything out, but yes, I got all the ingredients out, but I'm gonna get out my vanilla protein powder and add some of that in too. So we're gonna have vanilla protein, blueberry, strawberry bread, but really blueberry. So our first step is gonna be one and a half cups of flour, quarter cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I was totally wrong on the sugar. It's a cup of sugar, not a quarter cup of sugar. So let me add some more. Still, I only just added three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna add some vanilla protein powder. Mess this around. And I'm gonna add the blueberries in here. So it says two cups of strawberries. Let me just add all that. Okay, now are we surprised that I didn't read far into the directions to know that my sugar, my oil, and my eggs were supposed to go in here? And you'd think that I'd know that because that's normal but I just wasn't paying attention. I was just doing all my dry ingredients. So you would actually put your cup of sugar, your three quarters of a cup of oil and two eggs in here and whisk it around. So whatever. It's okay, it's not gonna matter much. My kids are still gonna eat it either way. We're gonna add the dry to the wet. Now, yeah, preheat the oven to 350, put it in an eight by eight, and bake for 50 minutes on 350. We're gonna get in some outside playtime before we really get into school because it is so nice. It's gonna be almost 90 today. So we're gonna play for a long time this morning and then focus on school. So when the blueberry bread comes out, I'm gonna put our sandwich breads in because it's the same temperature. So I'm just gonna pull that out, pop these in. These go 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. So this is out and the bread is in. And now our sandwich breads are done too. So I'm gonna have some happy kiddos to have sandwich bread back. So we brought some school outside today because it's yeah. just so nice right now. We brought out some blueberry bread too. So I just sliced up some sandwich bread. Oh, look at this. It is like perfect. It's so awesome. Anyway, I just got the little two to sleep because they are exhausted from yesterday and already this morning. So they're both taking naps. And then I came out and the big two want grilled cheese. So um, I'm going to make us some grilled cheese. One, two, three. Yeah. And then we're going to sit down and do school with the two bigger girls. 
So here's lunch today. Grilled cheese and some veggies. All three of them are sleeping. One, two, three. We are just about done with school. We still have science to get to today. But other than that, everything's done. Minus like little things that I have the kids do. They have like little bits of tablet work that are games, like math games, spelling games kind of thing where if they don't do it, it's not a big deal, but it's extra learning and extra, there's a big spider on the wall. Hang on. Where? So those kind of things left along with science today. And science today is we're doing weather and it's snowflakes, which is so nice on such a really hot day. So maybe our snowflakes will cool us off. So I'm gonna put together a little random snack and then we're gonna sit at the table, finish up science and then be done with school for the day. So I cut these in half today. Try to, I don't know, help a little bit, save some. So here's everybody's lunch today. Apples and peanut butter, except for Ashlyn. She doesn't like peanut butter like that. Carrots, some cereal and nuts, and that's it. And Ashlyn's having dried cranberries with her. This one's yours. So while they have snack, we're gonna finish science and then we'll be done for the day. So today is snow, sleet, hail, and freezing rain. So I'm gonna start dinner. We are gonna have homemade hamburger helper in the Instant Pot. So easy, you don't, don't need much either. So um, my family absolutely loves this. But the one thing I'm gonna have to do is pull some of it out and make it separately for, uh, with non-actual cheese. That sounds really weird. Dairy-free cheese? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my onion chopped up first. And then I just turned my uh, Instant Pot on saute so it can get hot while I chop up the onion. We're gonna cut the onion and ground beef right in there. The whole meal is made in the Instant Pot. It is wonderful. So we have onion, half an onion, and a pound of ground beef going in. Salt and pepper this. a tablespoon of minced garlic. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. Mine was freeze dried, so it's still powdery, but I added some water, so I need to kind of break it up. Salt and pepper, which I already added, but we'll add just a little bit more to season it. Not just the meat, but everything. Cook for two more minutes. So now we're gonna add four cups of beef broth, but it says just do a little bit on the bottom just to kind of scrape the bottom off first. Deglaze your pan. I know I just added water, but I'm doing it differently. So I'm gonna add one cup of water and I have three cups of broth here because that's all that would fit in my quart jar. Now we add a pound of elbow macaroni. And now we're gonna cook on high for five minutes and then quick release our steam. So pressure cook, five minutes. Okay, we're gonna let the pressure out. Whew, that is hot. All right, we're gonna re remove some of this. And you add two and a half cups of cheese, cheddar cheese. Mix this around and this will be for everybody else. And I'm trying Wilder on a no dairy diet as well. So normally I wouldn't pull this much out for just Layla, but 
think Wilder is also showing signs of needing to not have dairy. So this will be for him and Layla. So we'll add this cheese to theirs. And we're gonna cut it out for a few weeks to a month and see if it helps him any. And if it does, then we'll continue. And if not, then I know it's something else bothering him. His is nowhere near like hers. Like she, if she has any, she gets a skin reaction and all kinds of things. But yes, daddy's on his way home. His isn't that bad, but he's got some other things going on. Okay, so every time I make hamburger helper, I serve it with peas and applesauce because this is my husband's favorite combination. He always wants this together. So that's why we have this tonight and there is dinner. So once again, we're gonna finish our night outside. We had storms roll in through this afternoon because it was so hot and humid. So it was beautiful in the morning, stormy all afternoon, and now it's beautiful again. So we're gonna spend the rest of the night outside. Here you go, babe. So that is gonna do it for us tonight. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.